Today in this video, I'm going to discuss ear protection that works for me personally, and I believe for a lot of other people who have hyperacusis and tinnitus as well. I'm going to discuss about earplugs and over the head. So I'm gonna get right into it. My first line of choice for over the head are the Pelter X4As. Decibel rating of 27, flexible, fit over the head nice. Uh, they block out the refrigerator sounds. They block out some outside sounds. If I double up with earplugs and I go on my walk, I'm good to go. Um, if I come across any construction, it still hurts, but it protects me a good deal. Next up, you got the Pelter X5As, and they've got a decibel rating of 33 or 35, I believe. Um, they're not as comfortable kind of look like Mickey Mouse, but if I double up with these and I go into the hospital for any tests or anything I need to do in the hospital, the baby's screaming, the bell's going off, these do a good job with earplugs when I double up. Next up, you've got the Bose noise canceling headphones. Got these about a year and a half ago. Um, the Quiet Comfort 2s, super flexible, super stylish. Looks like you're just listening to music. These guys did the trick for me about a year and a half ago when I first got them. But because my hyperacusis and tinnitus has progressed, I go to the Pelters, but these still do a nice job when I'm around the house and I like to wear them because they're comfortable and they don't hurt my jaw as much. Next up, you got the earplugs. My first line of choice are the Howard Light disposable foam earplugs. They come in a 200 pack just like this, 32 decibel rating, got them in right now. Put it back in. I've got tiny ear canals so they work very well and I'm very impressed with them. They block out the refrigerator sounds, um, noise from my downstairs neighbors, outside noise, very happy with them. Also got the fat orange earplugs that you usually see in pharmacies. They've got a decibel rating of 33. If I double up with the Peltzer X5As and these, if I've got construction going on down the road or on my property, then I usually double up and it helps. It doesn't fully help, but it helps a good deal. Uh, because I just need to, we need to protect our ears as much as possible with hyperacusis and tinnitus. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on ear protection. I hope it gives you some insight uh, on what you could possibly use to help yourself. These are personal recommendations that help for me. Take care and I hope you have a great day.